Hi everybody, I'm Dawn, welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today I want to do a look around this wig. This is one of my all time favorite wigs. I absolutely love it. And it is a lace front wig, but it's still, it was still a very inexpensive wig. But I love to throw it on every once in a while just because it's such a pretty, it's so fun. It's, you can see it's ombre. See, it goes down in the blue. It's mostly purple. It's just got this beautiful royal blue. It's got some black in it. Um, I think just to help bring out that purple. And it's just, it's gorgeous. So I wanna do a makeup look for this wig. And I've done one before, so this one probably won't be much different than that one. But let's do it for fun anyway, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and get my bases going and then we'll we'll be back in action. Like I'm not gonna do that. On, look at how this came out of the powder thing. Okay. Okay, so I found my purple haze palette and um, we're gonna use this for some of these colors. I'm gonna start with this nude. And I know you can't see it, and I know it's just a habit of mine, but I just like doing a really light color at least at the top of my eye. I can't explain it. And, and I'm also going to use my fun color pop super shock. I love this color. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to be using that too. purple there. Oh. This one is a foil. This one I'm using, so I don't know. Let's just use, do the whole eye in that purple. What you doing, Brian? Can you let Brian out? Brian doesn't like being caged in. No, I didn't mean, oh. I wasn't telling you to take him out. I was just saying let him out of the room. I know, but I gotta take him out anyway, so it's about that time. Oh, okay. All right, now let me use my fun foil. Look at that! Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, that's fun. That's a, f I just spit everywhere. That's fun. Okay, let me, I need, oh no, you are for lips and I don't wanna use you on my eyes because then I don't wanna do that. Uh. 
Okay. Now I have this lip color right here, which is gorgeous, but I also have done black and then dotted this over it, which is also gorgeous. But I've done that black with the, that over it before, so I, I so rarely use this, so we'll do this. But first, we've got to got to finish the eyes first. And I was gonna put some eyelashes on, but I just I, I just have to come to terms with the fact that I can't wear them. If somebody was to put their face in front of me, I sure can put them on that person. But on myself, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Now, where did my jumbo go? I had a jumbo. I love this. This is a uh, Neutrogena, um, no, it's NYX Super Fat Eye Marker. I love it. I'm sorry, I can't talk when I have something that close to my eyes. Okay. Oh, knew I'd do that. Okay. Well, I don't have a purple lip liner, and with a dark color like this, you generally do want to use a lip liner. So maybe I'll use a lip brush. I don't think this is really a lip brush and just So who has seen salt burn? Who wants to talk about salt burn in a video? I'm thinking about doing a video about it. I really liked it a lot. Um, sorry, doing my lips. I really like it a lot. I was like hearing about it for months and I just didn't watch it. And then I was like, well, I better go ahead and watch this. And I did and I liked it. And Eric kind of liked it. He didn't love it, but. There was nothing in it that really shocked me though. Maybe that's because a lot of what I watch is so, uh, what it is. I mean, after seeing trauma, salt burn is really precious in comparison. Tina, your ass better learn how to close doors. I'm really proud that you know how to open them. thinking of something. Do I want to do a purple blush? Let's try it. It's more of a purple highlight.
Anyway, Salt Burn was pretty good. I do recommend it, but I'll do a review of it. We'll talk about it more in, a, in another video. Because there's a lot I want to say about it. And Barry, the last couple minutes. Hello? And that actor is only five foot eight. And... Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now, what's up, Tina? I just want to try something. If it doesn't work, I'll just start over on the lips. Ow. It didn't really do anything. Let me get my black eyeliner. I feel like I want my eyes to be a little more bald because they're so heavily lidded that you can't really see like what's going on atop them. Where did I put that freaking, oh here it is, okay. Yeah, I think that's better. Are you okay, Tina? She's just like, you all right? You're a good girl. Oh, and also, it's the same woman that em Emerald, Emerald Fennel, um, the uh, movie um, Promising Young Lady, or yeah, Promising Young Lady, or something like that. That's a great movie too. I watched it last night, but I've watched it before. It's really good. My problem with this, I don't even know if they make these anymore, the CoverGirl Melton Pout, it's not full coverage. If you put it on and look really close, it's not full coverage. And it doesn't, it's not matte either, so I don't know. You can't really do a whole lot with it. All right. All right, so let's get this wig on. I have a wig cap over here.
like I don't have it completely on. I feel like I, I want more purple to go on the eyes. <sighs> yeah, I want them to pop a little bit more. And what do you do when you want purple to pop on your eyes? You add you add more purple. I think that's good. So that is just kind of a look I wanted to throw together with this wig because I love this wig. I love it. I just love it. And you know, purple is a very favored color in the world. I know uh, green is probably my favorite color. Next pink, then probably blue and then purple. But you know, I like all colors. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Just, this is really great. Anyway, that's it. Um, if I really wanted to, to, to nail this wig down, I would use some got to be glued. Um, not Gorilla Glue, glue got to be glued in the yellow, yellow container. I'd use the gel underneath the wig, just under here and put it around here. And then I'd use the hairspray underneath the wig. And also um, I would take a Q-tip and put a little right up in here, just a tiny bit. Maybe one day I'll show y'all how I, I prep a wig. Um, I'm no expert, but I have my ways of doing things, but I love this wig. I, it's just so fun. pretty. All right. So that's it. I'm going to go now. Thank you so much. Mm. Gotta get these strays out of the way before they get in your mouth. Oh, look. A little, a little mustache growing there. Oh, no, that was purple. That's in the wig. Yeah, because this hair will get everywhere. Um, but anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to everyone later. Bye!